Hi, I'm Dr. Peters with Peters Wellness Chiropractic and Massage. This week's quick video actually covering a couple weeks of handouts we've had in the office is about the autonomic nervous system and the effect that chiropractic can have on the autonomic nervous system. So, to answer the first question, what the heck is the autonomic nervous system? Well, the autonomic nervous system is what creates balance within the body. Think of all the different functions that you do, your body does on a regular basis that you don't have to think about. So think of your rest and digest. You know, you're eating food, you have salivary glands producing saliva, you've got your intestinal system breaking down and absorbing the nutrients, and then you've got your heartbeat, you've got your respiratory system. So you're looking at all these things that you don't have to think about, and yet they still happen on a day-to-day -day basis. And with all the distractions that we have, with cell phones, electronics, everything going on, thank God these things function on their own without us having to think about. So when talking about the autonomic nervous system, or the ANS, there are two parts of it. And these two parts are the sympathetic, or sympathetic nervous system, and the parasympathetic nervous system. So to, to keep it real simple, thinking of the sympathetic and parasympathetic, think of a car. So you, you, know, you look down and you've got the accelerator on the right and you got the brake on the left. So imagine a car without an accelerator. Boring, right? You're not gonna go anywhere. The brake's gonna not do you much good because unless you're on a hill, you're not gonna go anywhere. Now, think of a car without a brake. Now, <laughs> I've had the experience once, one time when I was younger, I was about 17, and my brakes went out on my car on the way to work. Now, I made it to work, and I didn't run into anybody, because thank God the emergency brake worked. But imagine your life with your foot constantly on the accelerator, never letting up. Something bad is going to happen eventually. Someone you care about is going to get hurt, you're going to get hurt, because your health is not going to hold up. And that is going to have a detrimental effect not only on you, but on those that love you and those people around you. So when thinking about the sympathetic nervous system hitting that accelerator, think about fight and flight. That's what it's referred to, the fight and flight response. Cortisol levels go through the roof, your heartbeat goes up, blood vessels dilate, and you're on your feet and you're running as fast as you can, getting away from whatever puts you in danger. Also, just responding to stress. You know, the phone is ringing, the text coming in, there's email coming in, someone's knocking on your door, this person wants this. All this stuff is going on in your life. That is sympathetic nervous system, foot on the accelerator all the way. Now, the parasympathetic nervous system, think about you're out to dinner with someone you love, you got a beautiful meal, a glass of wine if you like to have that, and you're eating, you're relaxing, you got some nice music in the background, you have a nice meal, you go for a light walk, you sit down on a park bench, you relax, you have a great conversation. That's the parasympathetic nervous system. That is slowing things down. That is balance. That is homeostasis. So the autonomic nervous system controls this, but we have a big part of influence upon it. You're eating a lot of sugar, eating a lot of caffeine, taking in a lot of negative things. You're going to spike that sympathetic nervous system. So you talk about type 2 diabetes and all these diseases that are killing people, that are, I would call them um, diseases that it can be controlled because it's what you put into your mouth, what you let happen around you. So, I, you know, people I, I meet, I say, yeah, I'm a chiropractor. So, oh, you know, my back doesn't hurt, I don't need a chiropractor. And I, it, it's just like, are you kidding me? Do you even understand what the autonomic nervous system does? What chiropractic can do for that? Getting things under balance and control? People come in all the time. Oh, I got a hurt shoulder. My hip hurts. I hurt my knee. But then you look through the questionnaire and you see not sleeping well. You see, I can fall asleep, but I wake up in the middle of the night. Or I have trouble falling asleep. Once I fall asleep, I'm okay. These type of issues are autonomic. And if the autonomic nervous system is in trouble, your whole system is in trouble. So if you haven't gotten checked, get checked. If you haven't been in a while, get in here. Let us take, take a look at everything and get you feeling good for the holidays. Have an awesome week, and we'll talk to you next week.